Hi friends, today uh, I'm doing a little video on uh, lock assembly and especially for um, ZBZZN or uh, Boris. Um, he did me point to a video he had done earlier and which is not public at the moment but maybe will um, on a new pinning for Lua and this is the old one and uh, this is actually my redesign of his idea. Um, had this um, slot in the front uh, which takes a pin and you can uh, use to repin a lock very easily um, missing pin oh, here it is. Um, and he did actually uh, a two part version uh, and I will show you my redesigned one uh, because he asked if I could take a look because this wasn't working uh, as he intended it and um, here you can see it it's the inner part it's basically similar at the front to the old um, pinning follower with this uh, hole for the pin I've uh, filed mine a little bit bigger for bigger pins and the second part I have uh, to cover uh, <laughs> my modification a little bit to make it uh, a surprise uh, this is the outer part um, it has a slit um, for a lock tail piece <coughs> let's say this doesn't have a tail piece for example but there are some tail pieces uh, which stick out and um, this was his intention to make different tail pieces uh, which you can change very easily but uh, the two parts came uh, always uh, apart um, during the pinning and so my idea was um, <coughs> to make a little slot in the inner part uh, with a 90 degree angle and a little um, notch at the end of the outer part and the two pieces go together like this and then you can lock them uh, they do not uh, come apart and as long as you turn the outer part uh, the, the inner part to the left um, we will not come apart only when you turn it to the right we will split and you can take the inner part out and uh, set the core in uh, I will show you a little demo um, you have to be careful with this one um, when you turn uh, after setting the pin the slit too much and uh, so that the pin can fall into this uh, groove here um, you can actually destroy the springs <laughs> uh, as I did earlier on a try <laughs> so turn it just a little bit so that it uh, is still on the solid part of the um, outer sleeve so let's see how it works. Um, I stick the, the follower in. Let's turn it a little bit. <coughs> I have to push the, the spring a little bit down. Okay. That's two. Uh, we set the pin in. You can do this by hand. Do not turn it uh, too far as I said. Um, I hold it this way. You pull it back, turn it just on the uh, tail piece, push the pin in, and turn just the, the inner part, the, the slim one, a little bit. And now you can push it forward and turn more if you like. Yeah? But never turn it to 90 degrees to let the pin fall into the groove. So uh, let's assume we are done with uh, the pinning of the slot. Um, we just hold uh, the outer sleeve and the lock, turn the core, uh, the, the core of this tool to the right, so the inner part, and can take it out. Yeah, we can turn the sleeve a little bit. And now we can um, put uh, a lock core back in. This had, uh, has no pins. This uh, lock came just out of uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, it's just for demonstration. So you set it in uh, and that's it. 
I don't want to close it now. But you get the idea. <coughs> so the new uh, so the new addition uh, to his idea of this two-part <coughs> follower is just this groove, huh? which uh, you can see it maybe on the back. It goes here in this notch and locks. Uh, it's like a little lock, <laughs> lock in a tool. Uh, and as I said, just turn the, the tail of this tool and do not turn it too much. As long as it's inside uh, the lock. Uh. Um, for a normal lock, um, like this one, I would still use the uh, one part piece, it's much safer to use, but um, for some of these, these round locks this, which have a sticking out a tail piece, uh, this two part um, pinning tool is a pretty nice invention. Uh, it's, uh, so there are now two versions <laughs> and um, yeah, a very cool uh, uh, invention uh, again. Uh, ZBZN or Boris uh, did, and uh, I'm very happy that I can be p again part of it. Huh? Very very cool and very nice tool. <laughs> Actually worked the first time. I'm very happy. Huh? <laughs> so uh, hope it helps you ZBZN. I'm sending you files later. Um, and you can work on it uh, if you want or publish it in, uh, as you like. Uh, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye. You take a pin. Let's take a spool. I have to ho hold it horizontally. Uh, with pins are a little smaller in the slit. Uh, you take it back and you just turn the, the tail piece and then you can set the pin in and you turn the tail piece to the left. Do not turn the sleeve, turn the tail piece. And then you put it out and the spring is destroyed. <laughs>